And so my conclusion is, at this point, is that the formula of the first half of the 20th century, E equals MC squared, was quadrupled, doubled, and expanded by McLuhan's formula, which was the medium equals the message. The massage, the message, the message. That was the new post-mathematic, post-quantum physics formula. Who knew that? on the word media. So he really made the word media famous, but it was around in advertising since the 20s. And he did a pun on media, because when people read Understand Media, they thought he was talking about the news, the Walter Cronkite advertising. No, he considered every artifact humans made as a medium. So he was talking about everything. At that level, he was a philosopher. He just brought up a new word. It's like understanding reality. But he used a, a, a proper word. And like a true poet, they always pick up a word that's in use in business and corporate reality that people don't know about, and then he puts it out there and they think it's that meaning, but he's putting on the whole history of knowledge. Robert Dobbs is the incredibly intelligent voice that you're hearing coming out of Arts Simmons Radio for Southern California, World 88.5, KCSN, KCSN.org. Robert Dobbs, Chief Archivist for Marshall McLuhan. So McLuhan is going to target every audience. And so McLuhan was a scientist, an artist, an anthropologist, sociologist, a doctor, an economist, you name any specialist discipline that came out of our Western tradition. We talk about him being an artist. No, he really was a scientist. And he was one who, he targeted Frank Zappa as a composer. He wanted to compete with Frank Zappa. He wanted to compete with um, Marie Gelman and the Quark world and physicists. He put on every discipline and said, I've got a better formula for what's going on today than any other discipline in the world. And he used the university as his base because he would, he would be uh, in touch with all the different disciplines there and he would make sure that he was photographed in every department, <laughs> which really angered the, the colleagues because, you know, in academia you have to stay in your own department. So he was a, what he called an intellectual thug, but he thought he had discovered a new principle which only in the 20th century could be discovered and that he had invented something that was equal to E, e equals MC squared for the second half of the 20th century. Now that's something you never hear about. Here is someone who offered an economic vision. So he wasn't limited just being new an artist. And his science was laws of media, like the laws of nature and geography, he considered media as second nature that human made, and we now could see the laws of them. And they interpenetrated our communication problems. He knew that we had imploded. And later in that letter, he says, we are now in a situation where words are drugs, and he says, how are you, how are you going to tell the people that one? And then he says, the, the electric media are inside us, and we're inside it. Fusion, total. Cyborgian, terminator. That whole fusion metaphor, bionic man, already happened under radio conditions. If you understand what radio is, what the electric environment is tired, as Chardin said, is a biological event. It adds a new factor in nature. He was the one who first said electricity is a biological event. It was a new addition to our bodies, to our corporate situation, to our physical situation. A new addition. It was second nature, as powerful as first nature. So yes, it's a biological event. We begin with that, since the telegraph. The global village begins with the telegraph. You are both there and here when you're on the telephone. Now and then you bring in conference calls. You are both there in five countries, and they're there, and if the CIA is tapping it, they're there, and you're there, and everybody's everywhere, which is the key in figuring its way. Here comes everybody. <laughs> McLuhan began translating Finney's Wake by saying, well, speech is an extension of the ear, actually extends all the senses. Uh, what comes next? Writing. Hmm, okay, that extends the eye. Everything McLuhan wrote was his way of showing what Joyce was pointing at. Joyce saw the effects of television. Just that is a more profound scientific understanding of psychology, anthropology, and sociology than anything you ever had studied in college. And he did that in the 30s.
talk about Joyce 